What is good guys? Today I have another car yard video for you and I know a lot of you guys have kind of been asking about like Evo 5s and Evo 6s for sale and this car yard does have some Evo 5s so I'm really pumped about it. Anyways, we are still in Yashio which is in the Saitama region, kind of like up the mainland from Tokyo, a little bit north um, and this place is called Zero to One um, Yashio. So anyways, let's check it out, show you what they've got. It's really windy today because there's a typhoon rolling in so hopefully uh, the mic's not too bad but as you can see Zero to one, Yashio, and uh, they got some pretty cool cars here. Let's start from the front and work our way back. So starting off here at the front, nice 180SX, carbon fiber hood, vented, and uh, looks like it's running some pretty decent wheels, some rays. Pretty interesting body kit, it's got Wayne Game, everybody loves Wayne Game. And they want about like uh, 10 grand USD for it, so that's really, really cool. Um, probably the exchange rate right now for the Australian dollar, it's not even worth me trying to calculate because the Australian dollar literally just crashed really bad. Um, Hesse 8, uh, you can look that up on Google to get the actual like year because that's like the emperor years here. Uh, it's on 169,000 kilometers and the interior is pretty stripped out, no carpet or anything like that. If you can see there, sorry, this camera doesn't have an ND filter or anything, but uh, nice nardy wheel. As you can see kind of there, if I put my shadow there, running an N style pink seat, which is kind of cool. Rear, it looks like all the interior in the carpet's actually in the car, but it's designed obviously for like a Hashiri kind of car, that's for sure. I really hope the wind isn't affecting this too bad. Uh, then we've got a 350Z over here. Kind of looks like track spec as well. This one's on, this one's only done 74,000 kilometers and they want about eight grand USD for it. All got the leather interior and all that cool stuff. And uh, Suzuki Jimny, I kind of really want to get these because they're so cheap. It's about $2,000 US. It's done 168,000 kilometers, but I doubt I'll fit in there. I need to try that one day. Very cool. Um, and then, let's kind of move over here because this is where uh, you'll find the Evo 5. So this thing's pretty cool. It's uh, definitely got quite a fair bit of paint touch-ups and stuff on it. So it'd need a respray to look really nice. They want about six grand USD for it. And that can't be right. Uh, 100, I think, I don't think that dot's meant to be there. It's done 114,000 kilometers, I would say. I don't think it's 11,000 K, surely not. With the amount of like paint chips and stuff on this. It's totally done more, right? Can't really see because it's got a digital cluster, but the interior is actually pretty immaculate. Nice Recaros. Wow, that actually interior looks epic. Maybe it is actually low kilometers and uh, it's just the outside, it was like parked outside all its life or something. That's kind of a regular thing. GT4 Celica. Another Evo 5. This one's in way better condition. No pricing or anything on it though, so. But this is still cool. Six grand for an Evo 5. And if that is actually 11,000 Ks, if that, if that dot's meant to be there, then just repaint the car and then bam, right? Well, just repaint the front. The back kind of looks okay. Very cool. And then let's see what else is over here. Like I said, this is just a small one and these are kind of scattered all around Japan. There's another GT4 Celica up here, which is, oh, there's a couple. There's like an Atasha wrapped one there for three grand. Surely, surely that's not a GT4. That's cool. Don't know how much they want for this. Hey, there's that vent I was talking about that they uh, push air to the alternator that we were looking at that uh, GT4 um, at Scuba Sen. It's good to see a GT4 Celica here. This guy was here last time as well. That's super cool. Running on Blitz Bob. These things are really awesome. Uh, water to air intercoolers on the top. Kind of stole an idea there from Subaru. Turbo's right here in the front. It's got an aftermarket radiator. This is kind of cool. So they used to like force air into the alternator. Maybe they had overheating issues. I don't know, but kind of unique how the GT4s had that. But this thing is cool. This is an ST205. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, guys. I was more like an ST185 pop-up lights kind of guy. But still, I can get down on this. I want to definitely play with that. Hey, look, he's got a carbon roof like mine, and it's just as dodgy as mine. <laughs> Twins! <laughs> yeah, this one's just a normal Celica, but it's a Tusha wrapped. Very cool. Three grand. Very, very cool. Tell me if you guys know who, this character and what anime it's from, or manga, sorry. Very cool. I love that there's an Atasha car here for sale, then they're keeping the wrap on there. Very cool. 133,000 kilometers, three grand USD, and it's already a Atasha wrap. Just give it a good wash, and she'll look pretty cool, and you can put some good wheels on that. 
Another Evo 5. Jeez, this, these guys got epic amounts of Evos. This one's done 10.9. That's got to be 109,000 Ks. That can't be only 10,000 Ks. And they want 16 K for this. I wonder why. Why is there such a huge... I guess the condition of this is way better paint-wise than that one, so maybe that's why, but... Damn, this is, Evos are a lot cheaper than I thought they were. Really nice interior in this one too. Nice uh, leather doors, cards, and all of that. This is literally like the Evo car yard. Well, for Evo 5s at least, and then they've got a bunch of spare wheels and WRX boots and stuff like that. How epic is this lighting right now? It looks great. They seem to have a pretty decent collection of uh, Volvos here too. So they're for, for like four grand USD, you get this one, 73,000 kilometers. I don't really know much about my Evos, but I know there was a wagon like this in Australia and the guy did a 1JZ swap and it looked pretty sick. So that's cool. And then uh, these Volvo SUVs, which I don't really know much about. They're pretty cheap though. This thing's cheap, this station wagon, five grand. It's kind of cool. I don't know much about Volvos. I really do like these little Jimneys. I wanted to get another look at the Celica because I'm not sure if this is a GT4 or not. I think this is probably just a normal Celica and before I called it a GT4, so sorry about that. Yeah, I don't see any intercoolers or anything like that, so good chance it's just a normal Celica. But uh, these Evo 5s, man, very cool. This 350 has a Nismo badge on there, although I don't know if it's actually a Nismo edition. It explains why it's a little bit cheap too, like there's a few things like the tinsel peeling off and stuff. This is cool. I'll, this is a very big uh, popular thing right now. A lot of uh, young people in the drifting scene are putting the hybrid badge from the prius on their 180s and stuff like that i wish i knew like the reason why they're doing that i know i know someone explained it to me serena explained it to me a while ago um but i completely forgot still nonetheless nice wine game this is probably the car this and the 350 i really want to do a 350 build at some point just as like something i can just store at ebisu or something and just thrash non-stop that would be super sick so i think that kind of wraps up this place like i said it is small uh, and there's not a lot of cars here but it just goes to show you that you know you can find these little places scattered around on the outskirts of tokyo with really good like bargains you know like grabbing that evo over there that we looked at i mean sure it's not in the best condition paint wise but 114,000 kilometers six grand bargain right so yeah, if you guys want to check them out zero one yashio i thought it was zero to one but it's actually zero one yashio um and their url is www.01840jp let me explain something 840 means yashio so whenever okachan competes guess what his number is 840 yashio because that is what they uh they use like the kanji for so really really cool so that was pretty cool i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i know it's not like a super long one or anything like that and uh, it wasn't a really big car yard but I still really want to show you these little kind of like niche places because generally they're the best places to find a really good deal. The places that normally people don't know about and aren't advertised like heavily social media wise and everything like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, a lot of those places draw a lot more hype and things. So they know a lot more foreigners know about them and the prices go up, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, people got to make their money and business is business at the end of the day. Um, but with these little niche places, like I said, you can generally get a really good deal. And I really think that some of those Evos that were there were really good priced, especially for that one that had like the paint damage and stuff. Pick it up pretty cheap throw on a new paint job you've got yourself a, a pretty decent evo with fresh paint you know what i mean um but yeah tell me what you guys thought in the comment section um and uh, i definitely want to go check out some more little niche places like this as well that aren't heavily advertised everywhere because you might find something cool like a rx7 fc or an rx8 to sr swap into Anyways, guys, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Jamata.